has blocked the financial technology company formerly known as Square, finally gotten its mojo back. After spending a couple years lost in the wilderness, the company reported a much better than expected quarter last month, and the stock has more than doubled since the end of October. So can it keep running? Earlier today, we checked in with Amrita Ahuja. She's the CFO and COO of Block. Take a look. Hey, Amrita, since I've seen you last, this has got to be the most exciting time I can recall for Block, Ally Square. You focused on so many different things, but right now it's the one that all the younger people tell me about. It's Cash App, and it's about to explode. Jim, thank you so much for having me here. Uh, we're incredibly excited about the opportunity we see with Cash App to bank our base. We have six, 56 million monthly actives. More important than that number is the engagement of those actives on our platform. Two in three of them are weekly actives. One in four of them are daily actives. And they're using our financial services products regularly like Cash App Card, which is a free Visa debit card that's customizable and is really popular with Gen Z and younger populations. Well, my kids had Cash App before. It was the first thing they had. And then I realized when I looked through your documents, there are 13-year-olds who are with it. And they'll be there for life. Well, we have a family's offering that is really unique because this is a population that's pretty underserved and we get to grow with them. There are about 38% of our monthly actives, but only 28% of our inflows. So imagine the opportunity to grow as they become the spenders and earners of the future. And it gives us a chance to grow up market with them. We get to reach their parents and their aunts and uncles and their community around them. I love the fact that as they get wealthier, you right. get more of their wallet, which is terrific. That's happening. That's right. We see that as people use more and more of Cash App, they adopt more products. So not only 23 million on Cash App Card, but 3 million using our more nascent products. Cash App Borrow, which is a fast access line of credit. Cash App Pay, which is a chance to use your stored funds within Cash App at so many merchants around the world. Or Paycheck Direct Deposit. Now, when a customer is direct depositing into Cash App, they bring six to seven times more inflows into Cash App, which is an immense uh, monetization opportunity. And that's why us. you've got the great leverage that I've been looking for in the financial services. You are doing a lot of exciting things, and you're doing them with a thin group of people in, ter in terms of encouraging productivity. A cap of 12000 something that Jack Dorsey talks about as being a great way to recenter the company. That's right, Jim. This is a way for us to use constraints to drive creativity. So constraints here are the number of people we have at the company, and it drives a focus on what matters the most. It helps us prioritize our work, and it helps us think strategically about what most benefits our customers. Of course, it also benefits the bottom line, and that's where we see significant margin expansion opportunity. What we've guided to this year is already eight points or more of margin expansion, and we want to do more of that as we hit rule of 40 in 2026. Right, and that's a, a great growth in margin story, and I think that people should recognize that a lot of financial services companies would kill for the, that level of growth. They don't have it. Uh, some other things that you do are just, I think, cutting edge. You do fractional shares. Is it working? That's right. So within Cash App, you have the opportunity to buy a dollar or ten dollars of Nvidia or Berkshire Hathaway. It's a really exciting opportunity to bring people in to the stock investing. When we launched this product in 2019, what we saw was over half of U.S. households were not investing in the stock market. So this is an opportunity to make it more accessible and bring people into the significant wealth creation opportunities that others already have. Okay. Now we are big fans of Bitcoin. Uh, we are. Not not against it. We think it's a great storehold of value. Do you think it can be, go back to where people thought that at one point uh, it would be used as a currency? So we want to drive utility to Bitcoin, and we've got multiple ways to do that. We do, with our Lightning Network initiative, C equals, have an opportunity to use Bitcoin as a currency, but we're looking at the multitude of ways, a store of value, self-custodying, buying and selling Bitcoin, uh, mining Bitcoin, and global remittances. Those are our efforts. They're relatively small today and experimental, but we see a significant opportunity to drive utility and, again, bring more people into the economy. If someone wants to open an account and buy Ethereum, are you a place that you can do it. No, we only do Bitcoin. Really? Yes. Is it time to expand to others? We think Bitcoin is uh, the longest lived, best brand, uh, open developer ecosystem, and we see a significant opportunity behind Bitcoin. Fair enough. I, I, do, I want you to be more expansive because it's hard to find places that you trust 
that can allow you to buy the others, but maybe that's because you vetted them, not sure they're necessarily the right ones to be in. Trust is critical. And again, focus for us is critical. And that's where the focus is with Bitcoin. Okay, you spent 29 billion on Afterpay. How's it working? Afterpay is an incredible opportunity to bring commerce into Cash App. We had over 20 million consumers on an annual basis using Afterpay with increasing frequency. These younger customers, Jim, don't trust the negative debt spirals that you see from credit cards. No. And so with Afterpay, we grew our gross merchandising volume by 25% in the important seasonal Q4 quarter. And I think there's even more opportunity to integrate it into Cash App and to bring those local commerce opportunities out between the combination of Square, Cash App, and Afterpay. That's where we really think the block is differentiated. Okay, I'm glad you mentioned the term Square because you work closely, obviously, with Jack Dorsey, who's running Square. Can you just give us the kind of the division of labor? Were you in, for instance, on the decision to cap at 12,000? Absolutely. This was a joint decision across our leadership, but driven by Jack in an effort that was really brought out by clarifying our investment, to our financial targets, which is our, to reach rule of 40 in 2026. What we've said is we believe we'll get there by a 15% growth rate hopefully more, or a 25% uh, or so adjusted operating income margin. Well, to drive that kind of margin expansion, we need constraint. And to con drive continued growth at scale, we need focus. Well, that, this is one of the reasons I, I, when you say rule of 40, I, mean, I, I was always questioning how much you're balancing profitability and growth. Yeah. I'm not sure right now. You can clarify right now for us. Uh, equal, more growth? Because I, I love the growth app, but yet yes. when the pivot occurred after the Fed changed, I want more profitability. I want profitable growth. We want profitable growth, too. And because we invest in high unit economic businesses, when we drive a point of growth at the top line, that drives high incremental margins at the bottom line. So growth is ultimately accretive to both profitability and the top line. One last thing, I, I've got to ask you, so I didn't ask on people out here, uh, you do a lot of work from home, but what are your feel, what's your feeling about San Francisco right now as a place to work, as a place that people are starting business? Is it safer? Are more people coming back here? I mean, there's incredible talent here, Jim. Um, and I think that there's a real buzz in the air. That said, we want to be a global company and we want to access talent all around the world. This is why we allow our employees to work in a distributed manner and we can find diverse talent, excellent talent in many other cities around the world too. Well, I've been recommending your stock for some time and I think I hope people understand now why because I like profitable growth they're giving to us and they're making people they're converting people at the age of 13. They do it for life. And Rito, who's just the COO and CFO of Block. I just love it when you come in. Thanks Thank so you so much. Coming up, headwinds in the Omniverse. Can this VR stock find its form amid risk? Kramer asks the tough questions next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.